Uh-uh. He doesn't like when they do that because he's going to punish them if they go one-on-one -on, -one on him. Andy thinks Young pulls up to the elbow and scores. Do you agree with Andy that right now it's Zach Eady, National Player of the Year, yes, runaway? But yeah. I don't know that it's runaway because Trace Jackson Davis seems to be trying to make a bid himself. I, I do think Zach is definitely the leader, but I don't know if it's runaway. And Zach, he has a routine on road games. Night before the game, after a team meal, he has to have sushi. He said the Maryland sushi, by the way, was fantastic. Now, when you're 7 4, 3 oh, 5, one California roll is not going to do it. And now a technical foul has been called. As Julian Reese, the push up now is up to his feet. And that'll take us to a timeout. But Reese slow to get up. And Mason Gillis right there. That's what drew the technical timeout in College Park. So Jameer Young will shoot two, and then Maryland will have the ball and go the length of the floor. So Gillis, by the way, picks up two fouls. He has three now for the game. And there's the second foul shot from Young, 82% at the line. Knocks down both. And now the ball is flipped to the opposite end of the floor. And the Terrapins will inbound from underneath the Purdue basket. There's Gillis on the bench. All right, mark this play now. 15-20. Momentum changer here, you think? I think so. Especially if Maryland can convert here. Jameer Young, by the way, with 15 points, 7 of 7 at the line. Nice closeout by Great Smith. Carry the bounce pass underneath. Two-man game done well to Reese. The speed of their offensive execution is what's key to Maryland. Try to keep you on your heels defensively. Eady in traffic, no. First hits the deck, and here comes Young. Maryland down two, carry the lamp, and we have a tie game at 37. Crowd is on fire here in College Park. Ethan Moore has got to help Braden Smith break that pressure. They're putting too much pressure on Smith alone. Five to shift for Smith. Off the Edie screen. Smith drives, hangs to miss. Edie put back, no. Tipped out and saved by Young. Watch Jameer Young in this situation. Carry off the fake, steps back. Watch Tamir Young. He'll bring it back on this ball screen action. Carey bounce pass. Reese for the lead. A 10 0 Maryland run. Terps by two. Timeout Purdue. Sold out here on Saturday against Penn State. Sold out again tonight. Nearly 18,000 strong. Grievous Vasquez in black there. Cheering on his alma mater. You see Carey with a sweet pocket feed to Reese. Point blank over Edie. Edie cannot respond. They get it out on the break. Nice job. Once again, Carey getting past the defender. Now get downhill and yet another pocket pass. This time Edie's off his feet, but it's too late. Ah, Carey's energy has sparked this resurgence. Second Maryland lead tonight. Their previous lead was at 9-8. And go back, momentum. You talked about it, Steven. Yep. The technical on Gillis, two quick fouls. Young knocked down the free throws. Momentum shifter, and we're seeing it play out here. Yeah, and now. You've got the crowd involved. After every make, Maryland's going to go into some heavy pressure. And Braden Smith was barely able to get that ball across half court. I think they're relying on him too much for Purdue. Ethan Morton put it on the deck. Fletcher Lawyer needs to put it on the deck a little bit to help Braden Smith get through some of this pressure. But Maryland doing an outstanding job 
of wrestling control of this game. It's loud in here, and Andy, you have a good view and feel for that right now, don't you? Yeah, Kevin told us this afternoon how much this team feeds off of the crowd, and everyone in the Mar Mar Maryland Athletic Department knew that the second half, this place was going to be packed because of the 6.30 start. It's raining, there's traffic in the, in the area. They knew in the second half, this place was going to be rocking, and it is. Newman trying to answer and done. And the Boilermakers regain the lead. Confident stroke from Brandon Newman. I'm telling you, that play in the first half to get Newman on a down screen, curl into a jump shot, really got him locked in. The scoreless his last two games off the bench has five here so far tonight. Team Hart's been quiet, just three points. Reese and throws it away. Turnover. Maryland, here's Smith up the floor. And now he gives it right back to Don Carey. And now Newman pokes it free, but Carey reclaims. Scott against the smaller Smith. Edie comes to help out, shovels to Reese. Pretty look. For well, Fletcher Lorian late on the rotation. Well, look at Maryland scramble right now. Purdue, good job breaking the press with first. Overplay by Young. And a foul. That's the first foul on Maryland this half. I don't know. I don't know if Jameer Young is tired or I mean they're they're doing some old lay stuff defensively on the perimeter. Even after they had he had the uh, I think it was Braden Smith in front of him. You don't want to take those chances and leave your teammates on a five on four situation. Stay sound defensively. Foul is on Carey. He comes out. A million. Martinez back in the floor for Maryland. Lawyer off the fake. David Jenkins Jr. back in the floor. Just three to shoot. Lawyer lets it fly. It's off the mark. Jenkins tries to save it into the hands of Martinez. Bounce pass, and Miller ducks it down, and the lead is three. I tell you what, a million and Martinez have brought great energy off the bench for Maryland. His season high is ten points. A million has nine. Lawyer bottled up by Reese. Jump ball. Arrow, Maryland possession. And that takes us to a timeout. It's a 14 3 Maryland run. 12 3 run since Gillis picked up the technical foul. That was after the common foul. And the Terrapins on a run here. Since that technical foul, they've connected in all five of their shots. 8 of 12 from the field is half alone. Now uh, the Terrapins with the ball up by three. I like Brandon Newman picking up full court, taking up some of the time, making Jameer Young work. And he goes to work and adds to his night. Young with 17. I think Young liked it when Fletcher Lawyer switched on him. They seem to open up the floor and let him go one-on-one. -on -one. And Jameer Young, he's been at his best in conference home games. He's averaging 23 points per game. Big Ten play here at home. Keep in mind, the Terrapins, the only Big Ten team yet to lose a home conference game all year. You can see why. They turn up the heat in this building. It gets rocking. Ball was on Patrick a million. his first. And the team's second. Jenkins to throw it in. Needs some help. Slashing as Newman has it rejected by Hart, but a foul. And you see what Matt Painter has done. He's gone to a different lineup here. Kaufman, Wren, Gillis, Jenkins, Newman, and Smith on the floor. This is a different look for Purdue to try to counterbalance some of this pressure they're receiving from the Terrapins. 
Newman 79% at the line. Purdue, the top free throw shooting team in the Big Ten. And this is the front end. Saturday, catch a pair of hoops matchups at noon Eastern. Rutgers is in Madison to take on Wisconsin. Then at 9, Penn State and Minnesota from the barn. It's all Saturday only on Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. And Purdue now is a team, three of four at the line. Purdue has the best free throw advantage in the country. Not even close. Yeah, and so they, they're not getting their normal allotment from the free throw line, and they're not dominating the glass either. Maryland, nine more free throw attempts than Purdue tonight. Newman helps out with the block defensively. 12 to shoot. It stays with the Terrapins. I'm telling you, this is a defensive look for Purdue on the floor. Young gets downhill. Nice help from Brandon Newman. There's 12 seconds on the clock. Let's see if the Terrapins recognize this. Dante Skies trip slashing to the paint. And a lot of traffic in there. And it's on Newman. And that's his third. So Newman three fouls. Gillis three fouls as Matt Painter talks it over with his staff. Newman stays on the floor. Oh, Brandon Newman on the backside. Probably saved the layup there. Dante Scott seeking points up the game, and there they are. Martinez defending Jenkins. Was running out of room, and Jenkins threw it off the legs of Martinez. It'll save with the Boilermakers. Not much Martinez. See the little smirk there doing all he could. <laughs> Just Jenkins. Running out of room, only chance he had to keep possession, chuck that ball off the defender. So Roger Ayers telling Purdue, they've got five seconds to get it over half court, but Maryland content to drop back in the matchup zone. Purdue staying patient, trying to get into Edie. Drops the shoulder, 80, no, spun out, and Young the rebound. And the second chance points haven't been there for Purdue much tonight. That's been a strength for the Boilermakers all year long. And I thought that the forward position, Caleb first, Mason Gillis, really underrated. Young off the mark that time. Smith. Trying to find a step, draws attention, sets up Gillis from the corner. No, Edie the rebound, Rick Green by Julian Reese. Akeem Hart from the corner, Rick Green. A 21-4 run, largest lead for the Terrapins, timeout Purdue. As we keep it here with 906 to play. Kind of love the energy that Maryland brings. Pushing it up, sharing the basketball. Excellent job. Loose ball. Reese comes down with it. Maryland looking to push. Secondary fast break. David Jenkins has to stop the ball. Akeem Hart wide open in the corner. A little confusion defensively by Purdue. Akeem Hart making them pay. Just the second made three all night for the Terrapins. Dante Scott stuck around after a difficult season last year for the Terrapins. A lot happened. Turgeon leaving, Danny Manning do all, did all he could. And the Terrapins, winners of five of their last six, playing in front of another sold-out crowd tonight. Well, this is a special basketball community. Talk about the Maryland Terrapins. You 
time you've won a national championship, there's high expectations for this program. And Maryland almost a carbon copy of their last game against Penn State, where they shot 64% from the field in the second half. Well, that same number in the second half so far tonight. It's rare when I think this, but Braden Smith needs to take over the game for Purdue. He's the only one that seems to be able to get his shot easy. There's Newman up top. It's off the mark. Rebound carry. Maryland has connected on nine of its last 11 field goals. William was open there along the baseline. Instead, it's Martinez off the dribble. Oh, scores off the glass in a count and one. Splitting defenders attacking the glass. That body in the air. Some English off the window. And a three-point try up coming for the Costa Rican, Ian Martinez. Ian Martinez, stop. Start again. Go with the left hand. Jackknife between two defenders. Like Corey said, that YMCA English. Nice individual effort by Ian Martinez. And the foul was on Mason Gillis, Stephen, his fourth. They go from chaos to a library in seconds here. <laughs> Quiet as Martinez knocks down the free throw, completes the three point play, and Morton turns it over. More active hands, this time by Carey and company. Morton is being too conservative. He's just got to go up the floor, get up. Hard oh, off the glass and in. Everything is falling for the Terrapins here in the second half. A 26-4 run under eight to play and a 14-point Maryland lead. Smith trying to stop this run. Doesn't happen. Rebound a million. Even though he missed that shot, I like that shot by Braden Smith. He's one of the few boilers on the floor right now that have any confidence on the offensive end. Maryland has outscored Purdue 30 to 13 this half. Because they're getting everything in the paint. More the slips, Hartford three. That was short from the get-go. Offensive rebound. Run down by a million. And Maryland not selling for threes unless they're wide open. Hart has a good look. He'll fire again. But the onslaught continues. And Purdue only has one timeout left, Stephen. They burned some timeouts here in this second half. Only one remaining. It's a 19-1 run. Look at the edge, the offensive rebounds, plus six for Maryland. That's all up for Corey. Terrapins is playing with higher energy throughout much of this game. Lawyer off the fake, drives, and he is fouled. One to shoot, Lawyer. Foul, he'll be at the line shooting two. When we come back, 11 straight losses for the Terrapins against AP top five teams. Last time it happened more than seven years ago. January 28, 2016 against number three, Iowa. Number three, Purdue in College Park tonight. In the second half right now, it is all Maryland.